Welcome to the My Repair channel. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, please subscribe now and join. Hope to continue to bring this series of videos. Today I have brought you how to fix a power supply error in a higher 50-inch LED TV in a few minutes. Let's see step by step. The customer brought this LED TV to my shop saying no power and not indicate red light. As a reminder, I have opened the cover here for repairs. First let's consider the three basic circuits here. First we can see this switching power supply circuit. This power supply circuit is quite a complex circuit. I hope to bring you a full-length video on how this type of circuit works in the future. Next we can see the main motherboard here. It is quite a small circuit. Here one main processor controls everything. We can see the black ribbon that carries the signal and electricity to the T-Con circuit that connects the display panel, as well as the power supply wire, the remote sensor wire and the speaker wire. Then we can look at the T-Con circuit I mentioned earlier. The primary function of this main is to produce all the DC voltage required for the operation of the display panel and to handle the signal as required. Let's see how to select the circuit with the error. Because of the error no power here, I first took the power supply circuit like this and removed the wire and gave it 230 volts, AC power supply and checked the output DC voltage. If the circuit is working properly, 5 volts voltage should always come here. It constantly provides to the main motherboard. After we give the power on command to the TV from the remote or the button, the power supply circuit produces other voltages after receiving a return voltage from the motherboard to the pin marked as P on which you can see here. But the 5 volts voltage is not shown here. That means there is definitely a fault in the power circuit here. I first checked the first suspect, the supply fuse at the main 230 volts input of the supply circuit. The suspicion is successful, the fuse has been opened. Next I started testing the primary section of the power circuit here. The 8N60 FET which is the supply power MOSFET was checked and it was noted in the multimeter that it has a big error. I took it apart and continued to check the SMD and other components thoroughly. No other errors were found. Then removed the defective MOSFET and 230V fuse. After that, firstly, only the new 8N60 MOSFET was installed and without the fuse, a 75W bulb was installed on the two ends and AC 230V was provided. The reason for doing this is the power repair video I did earlier. When the electricity was put in this way, the red LED of the television lit up and the 75 watt bulb went out, which means that according to this observation, the repair has been successfully completed. Then the 75 watt bulb was removed and the fuse was installed properly and turned on. See it works fine. Thanks for watching and subscribe channel. See you the next video.